Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back filming today. Took a little break. I went back to California to visit my family for Father's Day. My cousin also graduated from university. It was such a good weekend. Um, I spent so much time with my family and it was just really, really nice. I definitely needed that small break. <laughs> I read all your guys' comments on the last videos. You guys always have such good ideas. Um, a couple of you guys suggested that Sarah date the mean guy that she thinks is cute in her friend group and that could be the person that we break up with and I think that's really interesting and a really good idea. And yeah, when Sarah ages up and uh, Edison is no longer with us, um, you guys had the suggestion of making the lot like a modern farmhouse like ranch kind of vibe and I'm so down for that I cannot wait to build that house I'm really excited <laughs> there's a lot of modern farmhouses like where I live right now and where I'm from so I have a lot of inspiration for that I'll definitely do a build video for you guys for that one but yeah I'm doing good uh really really busy right now life is honestly crazy I'll fill you guys in soon enough on what's going on with me but enough chit chat let's get into today's legacy video Woo! I gotta claim my daily reward. Practice makes perfect traits. Sims with this trait learn skills faster. Nice. A new trait, that is wild. Also, one of you guys said in the comments that uh, Evangeline should adopt Melissa's kids. Uh, and I think that's such a good idea. Hello, why are you not showing? Yeah, it's such a good idea because she wants kids and those poor babies just went to some random foster home. Uh, yeah, I really do like that idea. I just need to remember, like, where they went. I'll have to go rewatch the, the last video, but yeah, love that. Also, another comment. <laughs> I just love to, like, reiterate to you guys what um, other community members have said, just in case you don't read the comments, but someone suggested that we uh, change edit, like, re-randomize Edison's attractive preferences as to something new, because maybe, like, what he liked before when he liked Teddy, like Teddy kind of ruined it for him maybe. <laughs> I think that's pretty interesting. And then maybe we'll have like better luck with uh, with finding someone. But then um, a lot of you guys also really like Lil Lilith for him too. So I don't know, we'll have to see how it goes. But okay, here we are back in the compost household. It is Sunday, it's almost 6 p.m. You guys know the drill, I like to look at the calendar before we <laughs> do anything for the episode just in case I forget something. Yeah, so today's air day, we just have to do a couple of things for like for the past airs and then um, we got Halloween in a couple days. That should be fun, we should throw a Halloween party with Sarah. Um, yeah, and then Thanksgiving is like a couple days after that. So I'm thinking at the start of winter, I will probably change my seasons from the seven days to like the long the longer one i think it's 28 i'm not sure but yeah i just want to play uh with the longer seasons to see if i like it better we do have sarah's birthday in about 14 days yeah she's gonna be a teen for for quite some time actually so we have that amount of time to complete her aspiration all right so it looks like sarah is taking a bubble bath ren is Dude, are you freaking kidding me? I literally just logged on. Leslie, oh no. Leslie was one of Zoe's, sorry, Stella's kids. Oh, how sad, how sad. Um, Let's see, did she die from old age? She did. Oh, how very sad. So the only kids that are left are Rotheo, Bellamy, Ophelia, Bailey, and Marnie. Um, also, uh, you guys asked if we could go through the family tree, just like a little overview again, just to, like as a refresher. We could totally do that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we started this challenge with my sim self, um, and then I had Max and Ren. So Ren is my daughter. She's technically Gen 2 of this challenge, but she, she was born a human, but her aspiration was to become a vampire. She wanted to be a good vampire. So we ended up having someone turn her. I honestly don't remember who. I can't remember if it was Lilith or a different vampire, but yeah, she's been a vampire ever since. She's been around since the beginning, basically. And I thought it was really cool because we could like get a lot of skills done with her. A lot of aspirations, a lot of careers, because she's just like forever in the house, you know? 
and she can just pass down the family stories from generation to generation. So she's very old, she's very wise, uh, definitely my favorite character from this let's play. <laughs> it's hard not to like her, but yeah. And then Max. So Max was the heir. Max had um, Olive and Oliver. Uh, I don't really know why it's not showing Oliver for some reason. But yeah, he had Olive and Oliver. Olive was the next heir. And then um, I'm pretty sure that Max had... No, it was Olive. Olive had a teen pregnancy. I'm pretty sure she had uh, the teen pregnancy with Orange. Um, and the only baby she had was Charlie. Right? Yes. I'm pretty sure Charlie was an only child. <laughs> and then um, Charlie married Stella. And this was the gen that we got uh, the 10 kids done. Because that's one of the, like the legacy... Um, quests is to have 10 kids in one generation that was so unbelievably hard uh, we like made it like right down to the line of when stella was like gonna age up into an elder but yeah 10 kids already went through them who's alive and who's dead um zoe was the firstborn so zoe was the next heir zoe ended up having um she had a really good marriage actually yeah, Olive was a teen pregnancy. She never got married. Charlie and Stella met in high school. They were super in love from the beginning, super strong till the end. Um, yeah, Max, I, don't, I can't remember if he married Zara or not, but they ended up splitting up because Zara cheated on him and he cheated on Zara. It was this whole thing. <laughs> and then, yeah, so Zoe had the twins, Edison and Evangeline, as you guys know, because that's pretty, pretty recent. And then, yeah, Edison had Sarah. So, like, I'm thinking, like, how many marriages have we had in this Let's Play? First gen was a marriage. Second gen was not. Third gen was not. Fourth gen was. Fifth gen was. Sixth gen was not. And then Sarah. We'll see what happens with her. But, yeah, that's the gist of the family tree so far. Yes, I know Leslie has passed away. That, that, that's really very sad. I've always loved Leslie. I think, I'm pretty sure she was uh, one of the adopted kids that we had that gen. Um, we didn't give birth to all 10 because it, that was like really, really hard. So we ended up adopting a few. All right. Yeah. So like I said, you guys like the idea of her dating, uh, his name is Dondre. His traits, we found them out when we did the teen makeover video. His traits are mean and high maintenance. Like, those two traits together, I can't even imagine, like, trying to play as a sim with those traits. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I guess we can hang out with him, because she does think he's cute. Um, we can hang out with him, just them two, and see how it goes. And then she's going to have to break up with him at some point. Maybe she's going to break up with him because she realizes he's mean. And uh, probably verbally abusive, as we have seen already. But yeah, Edison is still in his suit. Oh yes, we ended the last episode with him officially breaking things off with Teddy. Um, he's feeling confident about it though. He's feeling confident, which is good. He's also kind of sad, obviously, because uh, it's like the end of, end of that officially. And uh, yeah, we also kind of got a glimpse into Sarah and Teddy's relationship too, which was really disappointing to be honest, but I mean everyone's relationship with their mom is not perfect. Um, okay, what's wrong with you? What do you need? Are you just like, you just need attention? I can do that. I can do that. Just please stop stomping all over our our plants, though. Like, that's not chill. Oh my god, Evangeline's here. Is there a club gathering going? Is that why? Yeah, it, it, there is. It's like we never moved her out. She's here all the time, but I don't have to control her. <laughs> that's another way to have, like, Sims you love around all the time. Uh, just, uh, yeah. Throw them in a club and just never end your club gathering. Uh, but yep, I'm super excited for the new lot. I like this house, but honestly, I'm not like in love with it. It's definitely not one of my favorite builds, but uh, it's, it's hard for me to like build with a masculine style, to be honest. But yeah, I'm thinking we just like, because I've kept the same layout for a long time. I'm thinking we start over 
like completely like move everything around. I think that would be pretty dope. Also, we've been working on her horse riding skill, which is at level three right now. I don't know. Oh yeah, it is a level 10. Okay. Oh yeah, we max bowling in the last one too. Pretty cool. She's a master bowler now. I wonder if we can make money from that. Are there like bowling tournaments that we can enter? <laughs> I'm gonna invite Dondre over and uh, yeah, maybe we can just like hang out in her room or something and get to know him a little bit better. You guys also like the idea of us turning the guest house into a, a little hangout area, which we can totally do. I could just kind of like gut the whole thing. I'll leave the kitchen, I'll gut the whole thing and just put like couches, a table, some games, a bar, all that jazz. All right, you gonna come over or what? He will be right over. All right, that's what I like to hear. There he is. There hims is. Make a flirtatious joke? Let's do it. Right off the bat. Welcome to my house. I can't remember if you've been oh, here before. Ben boy. But welcome. Are you gonna take the joke? He's flirty. Did it work? Oh, yep, they got a little bit of romance now. All right, see what's happening with what? No. Why don't you guys come over here and like sit on the bed and chat? I know what you guys are thinking and no, it's not gonna happen, I promise. Oh, hang on, is the door locked? Is that why you can't get in? Relax together? Oh my God, I didn't know you could do that. There we go, perfect. All right, let's see what happens. Sure. <laughs> Rib off a clogum. Gotha. Huh? Who so? <laughs> Don't goo boo a rib. <laughs> Trying to get a good angle here. <laughs> it's a little close. Uh huh. Snabara Watanini. Snabara Watanini. Go. Karenzi. Wait, she has a crush on him? Why does it say reveal crush? Oh, oh, what, what is happening there? What's with all the negativity? I don't see anything about there being a crush. I wonder if they can just do that to anyone. What? What? What is this? Be insulted? Bro. Maybe she... Is the horse in the house? I hear it. Oh my god! Can't you see we're busy doing so these animals, I swear they are so intrusive. They're just <laughs> they need to be involved. Where are you going? We weren't done talking to you. Are you leaving? You're going on a jog? Okay. He deserves to be dumped, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna commit to this. I also just really want to work on this horse riding skill. She's in a really good mood right now. I know it's super late, but yeah, it's like not that exciting watching her just like trot around. But yeah, I need to work on this skill somehow. So let's go. If you guys know of a quick way other than riding your horse to increase your horse riding skill, let me know. <laughs> I don't know when it would be a good time to like enter in some horse riding competitions. Oh, he's here. He's back. Maybe we can go somewhere else with him because it's kind of hard to like keep track of the Sims on this lot. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's 1 a.m. But it's not like she, uh, let's go to the park. It's not like she's, uh, it's not like she's that obedient to Edison. So let's just, let's just leave. It would be, honestly be so funny if they just like fell in love and stayed in love and they just got along super well. How crazy would that be? I can't though. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't move in a freaking mean and high maintenance sim. Like it would just be too much. It'd be too much, man. Um, let's see. Inquire what? No. Just like Yo zip. Yo zip. Neeb. 
What? Harfin. Uh, me. Who do you mean? What? Honey. <laughs> he doesn't like us. I don't think. Zombo. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh my God. We have negative romance. I can't. What is it now? What was that sound? Wrinkles has passed. Yeah, Rocky's phone is ringing too. Rest in peace, Sprinkles. Dude, it is not going well. They have negative romance now. I know of a way to like kind of cheat it. It's not technically cheating though, because I'm not like entering a cheat or like doing any of that. Dude, our mom is adding us on social bunny again. Like, did you not get the hint the first time? So all you gotta do is open Social Bunny, with came, which came with high school years. Actually, did it or is it base game? I can't remember. But you just go to your friends list, you find the person that you want to increase your, your relationship with, and you just spam them with either friendly messages or flirty messages. Friendly messages obviously will increase their relationship. Flirty will increase their romance. So you just like spam it until it's at the point where you want it to be. And voila, it takes so much less time. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can say that they text a lot and they increase their friendship by texting, but it's like kind of awkward when they hang out in person. I've definitely experienced that before. Like super good chemistry over the phone, but in person it's just like, oh God, like, no, this is not the same. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So now they have a pretty high romance bar. So it should be a little bit easier to, you know, do things. We'll see if he still acts the same though. I don't know why he's sad. I think someone died. Cause I can console him about death. He's like super sweaty too, for some reason. Aww. Such a cute little, little, oh, whatchamacallit. A cute little, uh, animation. Let's see what, what they're looking at. Wow. There's actually a lot of stars out tonight. Not that much light pollution. <laughs> we got a nice half moon going on. I love that. They have a sentiment. What is it? Deeply connected. Soulmates. Soulmates my butt, bro. You, you don't even know both his traits. How can y'all be soulmates? Maybe we should learn that last trait. Some small talk. Get to know. What is this? Spicy content from a social bunny pose. Poor guy. I wonder who died. Anyways, let's ask me to be our boyfriend. I just want to get this part of the aspiration done with. And this guy... He's like, he's a lot, but he's going through it too. Dance so that I would like, <laughs> I would feel bad dumping oh, him in this time. <laughs> so this is gonna be her first boyfriend. This is her first boyfriend. It will tell her everything she needs to know about what she looks for in a partner. Cute, look at him. They're honestly sweet. Get Sarah to pay the bills. I know it's not her job, but hey, we're with her right now and I don't want to forget. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, oh, <laughs> mas besitos. My goodness. Oh, he's going to grill. Oh, he's making a, wait, what is he making? Don't tell me distressing concoction. Looks like some kind of soup. Anyway, she's like passing out on the bench. So let's go home. So I watched Fallout finally. Holy crap. It's so good. As someone who played the games, I definitely approve of the show. <laughs> it's just really good. It's funny. It's kind of gory, just warning you. <clears throat> but yeah, I was pretty, pretty satisfied. Okay, so it's Monday. It's Monday. Tomorrow is Halloween. Let's, um, shoot, she's sleepy. I'm gonna send her to bed. Oh crap, she's got school soon. Oops. I haven't seen her vape yet. I haven't seen her 
smoke anything yet, so I guess that's that's a good thing, yeah. Edison is, are you gaming? He's chatting. Who is he always chatting to? Um, and what skill were we working on again? We've done cooking, video gaming, charisma, and logic. Ah, fitness, yes. We bought him the little uh, fighting machine up here. So let's just get that going again. Ren, 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 Let us supercell everything. Keep that money flowing. Even though I was looking at the legacy rules, we, uh, Rocky needs a bath as well. We, uh, have reached the max amount of, um, money to get the max amount of points in this challenge. So we technically don't need any more money, but I am curious to see how much money we can accumulate by the end of this challenge. Okay, Ren, you really need to take care of yourself, my girl. Like, yeah, drink your plasma packs, take a shower, and do what you must. <laughs> also, girl, a straw for every plasma pack that you drink? You need to be more, more eco-friendly, my girl. Oh, look, she's using her own shower. I love that. All right, Edison. You can change out of that suit, you know. Oh. Tubi Wabafa. All right, Ren, let's bathe this pup. Bathe yourself and then bathe the pup. Whoa, he's gotten so much better at this. You remember how he was at first? Now look at him. Sending her to, uh, to school alone today. Oh my gosh. I am so proud of you right now. <laughs> so crazy. All right, yeah. Give him some bath. Sarah, are you going to school? All right, have a great day. Make good choices if you can. Don't know how possible that is. Oh, okay, while Sarah is at school, <laughs> Let us go to the gallery and try and find a lot where we can have the Halloween party with Sarah. I'm gonna set it as a teen hangout. Oh, also, I wanted to have a look at the sims that you guys made and place them all. I completely forgot to do it before uh, recording this video. Why don't we have a look-see right now? I asked you guys to uh, use no CC just because it's so much easier for me to place them. Uh, without them being like naked, you know, in case I don't have your CC. There is a decent amount. I love it. Edison's wife, nice. <laughs> yeah, see, no hair, no pants. <laughs> I guess it is what it is. I'll work on those uh, before the next episode in a couple of days. So if you guys want to, again, upload a sim for Edison, um, just use the hashtag SimsHaveEdison. I talk about his preferences in the last video as well. Um, so yeah. All right, let's head to the gallery and see what we can find for a Halloween party. I always do most popular. Um, oh yeah, I have looked at these lots before for my Halloween parties on Twitch. I do recall, yes I do. Oh yes, this one I have used before. I absolutely love this. It's by, uh, original by Natey Winter, and then this upload is by Midi03061978. Um, this is my entry to the- oh, it's a shell challenge! I've used this before and I absolutely loved it, so I think that we should do it again. Uh, I think the logical spot for this would be in Forgotten Hollow. <laughs> we also need to think about what kind of costume we want to give Sarah for this. A, a cowgirl would make a lot of sense, but she kind of already dresses like a cowgirl uh, as it is. So maybe we could do something like complete opposite, like, like, uh, I don't know, vampire, alien. I'm a real big fan of classic costumes, stuff like that, like mummies, zombies, pirates. Um, yeah, maybe we can go into cast and like look at my CC and see what we can do. Madonna, we could do Barbie, we could do... Oh, I wish I could get your guys' opinions right now. We could do, uh... <laughs> um, 
Sandy from Greece. I do have the perfect outfit for that. Like uh, the scene from the end where she's in that like jumpsuit with her curly short blonde hair. I got chills. They multiply. Oh yeah, I also wanted to get her a retrading potion. I think we have enough aspiration points to grab one of those. So let's give her another party fit and see what we can do for a costume. So let me show you the outfit that I was talking about, like Sandy, the Sandy outfit I've got. Yeah, here she is in all her glory in black. I mean, let me let me look her up really quick so I can show you guys. I mean, it's pretty spot on. <laughs> it's pretty, we can give her like big voluminous blonde hair, uh, red lips. I think that could be pretty fun. I've always wanted to use this outfit for something. I just had no reason to until now. Uh, let's see. I have no clue what kind of shoes she was wearing. So I'm just gonna have to pick some that look nice. Oh, these. They kind of go over the pants, but it's okay. And then I think I have the perfect hair as well. Yeah, here it is. It's by Wings. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. And then uh, lipstick, we'll do like, yeah, something red. Yeah, and then um, I don't know if she was wearing eyeliner, to be honest. I feel like she might have been. Something like that. She looks good. <laughs> she looks really good. Maybe use some red nails to tie it all together. Is it messing with her lashes is the real question. Let me see. No, all good there. All right. I think it's pretty dang close. Her hair is definitely way more curly, but I think we nailed it. Maybe this hair? It's not big enough. This one? Ooh, that one's like a lot less curly though. Mm, that one would be good for a Marilyn costume. Oh yeah, I think that's pretty good. All right, I hope you guys like it. Oh my God, <laughs> Edison finished working out and went straight to bed on his ottoman. I don't understand, your bed is right there, my guy. It is right there. Well, uh, I think that the only thing to do is to take a bath with uh, muscle relaxing soaks after that grueling workout. Uh, him's pretty happy still. It's just the loss in the family that's getting him. He's completely over the breakup. <laughs> like, completely. Oh, whoa! Look at his muscles! Holy cannoli! Him's buff now! We also had a eureka moment. I love that for us. When Sarah gets back, I'll plan the party on the calendar. Hold on a sec. Wait, what's this? Sarah's latest classroom assignment is a group project. Her group mates are pretty smart. Should she try to contribute? No, I'll just let them do it. I got chills. Like, look at, look, he's so like, he's so toned now. He's definitely not as scrawny as he used to. Oh my God. If only fitness gains were like this fast in real life. You work out one day and you're like all of a sudden buff. <laughs> oh, he's doing it again, autonomously. Okay. Wow, he's committed. Oh no. You got rocks for a second there. What level are you now? Still level eight? Yep. You keep working at it. I think I'm gonna hire a ranch hand as well. I just really want the horse to be like taken care of um, when Sarah doesn't really have time. I think that would be a good idea. Especially if we're gonna be getting more animals too. But it's not like we can't afford it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I want the horse to be happy. And Rocky's just constantly sad because of the death of, yeah, everyone. I wonder who the ranch hand's gonna be. That's always, uh, that's always fun to see. My name is Harris. Nice to meet y'all. Oh my gosh! It's a girly pop. I have yet to have a girly pop ranch hand. Ah, oh, there you are. Let's see. Aw, you're pretty. You are so nice green beard, my guy. Um, hold up. Hold on. Trout?
No freaking comment, bro. No comment. But we should, uh, we should introduce ourselves. Oh, we already know her. Perfect. I really want to know your traits, though. Since he didn't officially meet her, does he know them? Good compatibility. We don't know her, her the traits, though. Perceived as unattractive. Okay, we already know. Wow, okay. We didn't even scope. Apparently, we, we know her from somewhere. I don't know. He's crying in his sleep, you guys. <gasps> Sarah's back! Hi! She's sad about the death as well, even though she barely knew Leslie. That's just how it goes. Also, she's exhausted. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, let's take care of that. Let's go to the calendar, add a good old... Can we add an event on a holiday? Yes. I want to do a spooky party. Sarah's the host. We gonna invite Agatha <laughs> for obvious reasons. I really wish that you could like filter the guest list through or by age, like teen, young adult, adult, blah, blah, blah. Like what if I want to invite all the teens in the world? Then it would be super easy to do so. But I'll just invite all of the people that she's got like relations with. Not our family though, because we're gonna be getting into some nonsense. You guys know the drill at this point. All right, bar, Halloween party at, let's do, let's do 6 p.m. 250 bucks to throw that party. How are her little uh, character values coming along? Terrible emotional control. She's got good manners, she's got re re good responsibility, but uncontrolled emotions, not so good em empathy. Poor baby, they're both crying in their sleeps. Let's see how many aspiration points Ren has. 4,000, and how much is a retraining potion? I really wanna do this, but I'm kind of scared to see what she gets, 5,000. And I'm wondering, will that like delete all of her bonus traits as well? I think it might. I think there's like something that happens when you try and reset their trait in cast. Like if they have all these bonus traits and you like exit out a trait in cast, it like, replaces itself in cast with the bonus trait so you have to like exit that out too Ooh, i don't know if i want to do that she's active hot-headed child of the ocean dog lover goofball paranoid those are her learned traits right now i don't know i'll let you guys uh comment about that first before we do anything she's over here talking Manifest. to her plants okay uh how about we build some skills my dear uh, I still don't know what skills we need. Archaeology, we'll need to go to Selva Dorada with her to, to do that. Gemology, gemology is a 10. Hmm, should she become a crystal lady? We've got plenty of crystals to work with. <laughs> We've got plenty of money. I suppose we can get to crystal table. If you guys haven't messed around with this uh, pack yet, um, it's pretty interesting. Like, there are some super OP things that you can make with this table, especially the plum bite one. Uh, so if you make a piece of jewelry with plum bite, it uh, increases your needs slowly over time. And when they've been wearing it long enough, like their, their needs are maxed out and they never go down. But you do have to charge it on the little like charging station and you charge it under the moon. And um, yeah, you do have to do that every so often, but when it's fully charged, it is so OP. So yeah, let's get one of these gemology tables. Yeah, they should be able to walk through there still, I hope. I guess we could put it over here since there's no plant in that pot or in that planter. Yeah, let me just put it there. I'll move this fountain to here. I'll delete that. This here is the little crystal grid where you charge the stuff on. Just put it right out there. And then put one of these like tool things up, put a little lamp there. This would actually look pretty cute in her house too. I just don't think there's any space for it. Also, you can cut gemstones. So instead of making jewelry out of the crystals, you can just like make a gemstone and then like the effects of the, the crystal like like affect everyone that's around the crystal, like wherever it's sitting. Um, like I've heard people like take the plum bite, cut a gemstone out of the plum bite and like have it next to 
a baby crib or like their toddlers or whatever and they're a lot easier to uh t take care of at that point what this plant's dead oh no i don't even know what kind of plant i don't even know what kind of tree this is i guess we could plant another tree here anyway design random jewelry 300 bucks oh sarah's up you know what i'm gonna give you a moodlet solver so that uh you're not so sad also, since she's creative, we should think of a creative skill that she can work on. Oh, Kieran's calling. Kieran is Ren's son, by the way. We can totally chat. Uh, so like a creative skill like painting or uh, writing uh, or a instrument. I don't know. What do you guys think we should do? Dandre has not um, hit us up recently since we became boyfriend girlfriend, by the way. Kind of interesting. Sending her a little joggy jog. Kieran has spread some juicy gossip about Jordan. Oh, not him gossiping about his son. Yeah, Jordan, the vampire kid that we're friends with, the one with the heterochromia and vitiligo. He's Ren's son, so he's technically related to us, like very distant though. How was your jog? It made you feel flirty, huh? Flirtatious school day. Got a compliment from a cute classmate. Girl, you've got a man now. She's got her own man now. She's doing fine. Yeah, stay hydrated, queen. Get that water. And good morning, Edison. How are you feeling? Still very sad. He's cooking. I hate how the Sims like put stuff in the instant pot and then go and eat something else while it's cooking. Rungle Piff! Oi, he's doing it again. No, stop! What did he even make in here? Poor quality steamed rice. Dude. Gross. Oh, is Ren done with her piece of jewelry? What did you make? Uh raw earrings! Flamingonium with ruby! If charged on the crystal grid, and Barry's movements will fade much faster. Sim will not have uncomfortable romantic interactions. Sim will not have awkward woohoo encounters. Nice. Let's make something else. It's just, it, dude, why are you always playing in the trash? I don't know what's wrong with Rocky, but every time there's trash anywhere, he will roll in it. He will sleep in it, and he's just always filthy. Good grief! It is Halloween. I also want Sarah in this club too. How come I cannot add her? I will have to ask her later. All right, fitness level nine. Edison can now practice fighting with other Sims just for fun. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about this pack is when you're wearing the jewelry that you make, you uh, the eyelashes get all glitched out and it looks weird. Um, raw earrings, Alcron with citrine. Sims will randomly find simoleons doing things around the house. That could come in handy, for sure. I don't think anyone has worker school today because it's Halloween. So, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to kill time until the Halloween party starts. Okay, the third thing that she made was a bracelet with solarium and clandestine. Sim, wait, Sim is easier to convince and more likely to lend money. That's interesting. So you would gift it to someone and they would wear it. Huh. That could come in handy in rags to riches. All right, he got done working out. Let's do another muscle relaxing soak. That seemed to help last time with his sore muscles. Jamal's level six. We will get additional crystals and metals when digging at rocks and can, can, des and can design mystical jewelry and cut star-shaped gemstones. Ooh, pretty. Sarah's sleeping in the treehouse, and then she's going to smoke a joint after. Okay. She is uh, getting ready for Halloween. Pre-gaming a little early, I see. Oh, also, let's get Ren to harvest these crystals. I'm excited to see what she's going to make next. All right. She made a ring. Flam Flamingonium with turquoise. Sims gain charisma skill faster. Sim is more successful with friendly socials. <gasps> I'm going to give that to Sarah. That could be really nice. Good morning, Sarah. 
Oh, it looks like she smoked in the treehouse because she is high. <laughs> and she went to go sleep again. My goodness. Hachi. Nice umbrella. What's this? Ew. Why? Oh, we gotta charge everything too to make them work. <laughs> Hang on. Is there a crystal's aspiration? We should probably be doing that. No, there isn't? Oh, there is. It's in nature. Crystal crafter. Yeah, let's give that to Ren while she's working on that skill. Solarium with Rose Quartz. Sim gets over breakups faster. Sim's social need does not decay. Yo! So clutch. So many things I want Sarah to have. <laughs> this is Halloween. Everybody make a scene. Okay, we have an hour until our party. She's hungry and she needs energy. I think I'm just gonna give her a moodlet solver just because I don't want to deal with their low energy. Oh my gosh, a trick or treat! Hi! Trick! We tricking you, my boy. What the? Nice tablet. This is a epitome of an iPad kid. Trick or treating but can't be away from their iPad. Mm hmm. What are you gonna do? Sorry, kid. We don't have any candy. All right, she's ready. Oh my gosh, she's hysterical though. Oh lord. Oh lord. What happened? What? How's, how come the party hasn't started yet? Don't tell me it's bugged. Current event is underway. Okay, I guess we gotta travel there ourselves. Oh, okay. Now you want to start 50 minutes later? All right. Let's get you... Well, she's probably going to change her outfit right now. Uh, she picked zombie cheerleader. She actually looks pretty good, but I'm going to give her the costume that we gave her. All right. Oh my god. She looks amazing. Over here. Over here. Thumbnail vibes. Okay. So... Cha -cha -cha, cha -cha -cha. Um, let's get a drink first of all. See, this lot is so freaking cute. Little dance floor, little inside area, two bars, little bonfire pit. Yeah, it's just cute. It's just real cute. Oh, there's our boyfriend, still sad. Uh, Agnes is here, cross stitching at the bar in her little. Is this a witch costume? I think so. I'm, uh, she dressed up. That's honestly really adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for my beer. Thank you so much. She looks good. Where's the music though? There we go, that's better. Looks like Avery came as a pizza delivery. Rodolfo. I don't know, it's giving Star Trek. We've got Noah as a gladiator. Uh, who's this? Darian Colette. Do we know you? Did we meet you at school? Are you tending the bar? Girl, why? Oh my god, we got Darth Maul over here. That's Chase. He's cleaning. Okay, well, why don't you like... Start a gathering so that everyone does does their thing. We got Natalie as Princess Leia. We got Leonard Leonard, sorry, as a zombie. We got Crystal as a witch. Why are you being antisocial? Oh, there she goes. Happy Halloween, Chase. Caleb and Lilith are here. I'm not surprised. Whoa, what was that? What is he doing? Is he telling a story? Oh my god, how cute is that? I've never seen that before. Who's that? Hugh Jackson? <laughs> Sarah likes family motivated sims? Interesting. They tend to put family first and often enjoy spending time with children. Huh. Okay, if that's what you like. I'm keeping an eye on him. If we see any reason to break up with him, I'm taking it. 
dodged up. Oh my god. Look at the way she's sitting. Why does she look so sus? Why are you watering that plant? Oh my god. Hey, I was taking pics. Who are you looking at? Uh, is it him? She looks like she's up to something and I don't know what it is. She's been eyeballing someone over here forever. What you holding? What you got? Share with the class. Oh. She's kind of a... She's kind of a, a loner a little bit. Like, she likes being around, but... Oh no, is there a raging werewolf? I guess it would be a Halloween party without one. Am I right? Literally, what are you holding? You don't even have anything. Girl, stop. She gives flirty looks to literally everyone. I don't know if it's just her costume, but... Aww! Ophelia married! She married someone named Matthew Steele. Wait, 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 wait. Tony married someone in the last episode. And now she married someone else as well? Is she killing off her husbands? How is that even possible? I wish we could see it on the family tree, but I don't think I can. Interesting. Very interesting. She's doing her own Black Widow challenge, apparently. Oh my god, this werewolf is ruining the vibes, bro! Ruining the freaking vibes! Can you just leave? Like, why are you even here? I guess uh, they're a hired actor for the Halloween party. Uh, I don't know, dude. Do, 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 do. What is our boyfriend up to? Where is he? Oh my god, it's raining. Everyone has their umbrellas out, so I can't see. Oh, he's right there. He hasn't done anything worth dumping him over, but then again, he hasn't spoken to us at all. Okay, it's good to see that uh, she's not the only one who vapes. I don't know what he's leaning on, by the way, but... <laughs> That is not working. I'm having them do group dance. I want to see if this works. What? They're going to do it over here? Why not on the dance floor? I can't see! Oh my god, bro. This is so lame. Ah! Alright, well... Honestly, this was cute, but it was kind of lame. Nothing really happened. Charky Gelma. Gelbador. Let's spice this up a bit. Let's have them have their first kiss. Why are they both so sweaty though? School starts in an hour. That's hilarious, dude. Let's just miss school for the day. What's this? What is this? Hmm. I'm watching you. All right, well, I'm gonna end it. That was fun. We did something fun. Nothing too crazy. We didn't even like smoke weed or we had like two drinks oh hold on a second let's dig that it's the principal calling by the way i do not want to answer oh she answered anyways oh there goes the werewolf welcome home she's just a little bit hungry but other than that she's fine what would you do if your daughter went out on Halloween and didn't come back until 10 a.m.?
She's pretty happy about her first kiss with Andre, though. What's Edison doing? Dancing. Interesting. Okay. I like it. I like it. His social is a little low. You know what that means. Blind date time. <laughs> I do wanna, you know, put you guys' sims in and have him um, meet some of them too, but we can keep going on blind dates for now. He's almost max fitness, so let's just get that over with. I always start a gathering when I'm skill building just because it helps the skills go up a lot faster. Maybe we should do guitar, because Dondre seems to think that we crush it. <laughs> as his, uh, as her creative skill. Edison, max fitness, you up? Dondre, I'm so happy to have a friend like you. I'm thinking that it would be great to have a pillow fight partner. Oh my god. Alright, good job, Edison. Good job on maxing that fitness. All right, so since the social's low, let's go ahead and go on a little blind date. Let's see, uh, never seen this girl before, but okay, sounds good. What's your name, love? Mackenzie, oh shoot, we know you already. How do we feel about you? Basic looking. Okay, cool. Oh my God, no, oh my God. This can't be her. It can't be. It's gotta be a clone. It's gotta be. <laughs> but what do you guys said that like, it's quite the coincidence that Teddy was their waitress and Lilith threw up and Edison got food poisoning and I was like, oh my god. You're so right. You are so right. She poisoned us. She freaking poisoned us. But I think this is just a... It's, uh, a, like, a, it, like, filtered her in from the gallery, you know? It's not actually her. Um, because I don't think the real Teddy is pregnant right now. She's not. But it's still funny. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is, why is Teddy a part of this conversation and why is she embarrassed? Oh, yeah. I feel like I should delete her from the save file. It's too confusing. Oh my god, no. Mackenzie is proper. Ain't no way we're gonna be with another proper sim. I already know he doesn't like it. He's like, oh, you're proper? Red flag. Red flag. Why are my sims always sweaty, dude? I swear. Nurchel Karenzi? Nurchel Karenzi? Did you just fart at the table? You please tell me that wasn't you. What is what is that noise? There's not karaoke here, is there? Cause I hear it. Oh my god, there is. It's freaking Bellamy, dude. I can't. Where's my food? I need pictures! Thank you. Don't give birth right now! Dude, this is so awkward. Why is every date we go on so incredibly awkward? Nice. She's so pretty. Look at her eyes. Aww. I can't believe he's an adult now. Where are you going with that? Sir? <laughs> oh my. He's standing up and eating. He is not feeling the state whatsoever. Let's scope the surroundings while we're up. Oh my god, of course you find her attractive. It's so awkward, dude. Why are you just standing there? Go give birth! Alright, I gotta go. Dude, no! <laughs> Lauren Chopper, I don't know who that is. Anyways, let's end this meal. I, I gotta get out of here. This is she's just standing behind us, like about to pop. 
I'm good. I'm so good. Look at the horse right now. What the hell? <laughs> Let's go to our bar. See who we can find there, if anyone. Maybe we can make some upgrades to the bar too, at some point. He'll probably end up passing it down to Sarah. He's so buff now. <laughs> oh. All right, sir. You look good. Maybe you should like, he can't wash his face. He's so sweaty. Bowl a 10 frame game, all right. Should we get a bowling boost for this club? We might as well, right? Bowling is one of the activities. Yeah, let's grab that. Who are you? Why are you bowling with us? Wow, he's about to max bowling. I think bowling is like one of the easiest skills that you can max in this game. You have to go bowling like two times. <laughs> I just want to know why this person is bowling with us. All right, he maxed it. That's my boy. That's my boy. Good movie, by the way. Be yelled at, excuse me? Uh, does my daughter know your daughter? <laughs> oh, you're just mean. Okay, great, perfect. Uh, let's see what we got going on out here. There's always a bunch of Sims just standing out here. Maybe he'll find someone attractive. Let's find out. No one, not a single person. I guess I'm not surprised. All right, let's go home. At least we max bowling. That, that's good. Yeah, I really need to put your guys' sims in the game so that we new see some new people walking around. I don't know if I should move them into Willow Creek or if I should move them into Newcrest because that's where the bar is. I don't really know if that has any effect on like who shows up at the venues, but... Yeah, by the next episode, I'll definitely have all the sims placed. Uh, I don't think Ren got promoted. Do we have to solve a case to get promoted? Weird. Maybe that wasn't the right... Maybe that wasn't the right choice for a job. I didn't realize you actually had to go to work with them in order to get the promotions. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna leave this part right here. We've got Harvest Fest to celebrate in the next one. Um, and then we have, let's see. When does winter start? I think, I think it starts on Sunday. I might change it before the next episode. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days until Sarah ages up into a young adult. Mm. Oh my gosh, how exciting. And then we need to figure out a job for her and all of that good stuff that comes with growing up. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, I thought today was pretty good. We maxed fitness and bowling for Edison. Uh, we worked on Ren's gemology skill a little bit. Uh, so yeah, in the next one, we'll probably have to break up with our boyfriend, to be honest, for our aspiration. And then the next part of the aspiration is to have an enemy rival, which I'm not really sure how to do yet, but um, I'm excited to find out. So yeah, I'll be, I'll be uh, placing all of the love interests that you guys have made before the next episode, so make sure to have those uploaded with the hashtag SimSavEdison. Make sure to use the attractiveness preferences that we talked about in the last episode. I think it's around like seven minutes in that video that I talk about them. Yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video as always. Leave me comments, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in the next one. I love you so much.